Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mohit Kapoor. I am a first year radio diagnosis GR at Ames Vibhinagar, Hyderabad and today I will present a clinical case with you. So this was a uh, this was a case of a 32 year old male with history of a blunt trauma to the right side of scrotum 4 months ago. So the pa on examination the patient had the right scrotum which appeared adrumentous and bruised and pain or touch was felt. So the patient was referred to us by the surgery department for ultrasound of scrotum. And as we can see, first we did the ultrasound of the right scrotum and we could see uh, there was multi-located multi, multi separate, uh, fluid collection uh, seen within the right scrotum. And on color Doppler, we could see there was poor vasculature within the color Doppler on the uh, within the uh, scrotum. And when we uh, went further to see the testes, to localize the testes, this, so this was the transverse view and this was the axial view and this is the epididymis. And we can see on the uh, test, we can see where's multi multiple small micro calcification microliths and we can also see the tested had altered eco texture and surrounding the testes there was uh, multi located fluid collection uh, surrounding the testes also however on color doppler the vascularity was normal in the testes and when we went to the left testes left scrotum we saw that the uh, okay this is how a normal test should look like it has normally a homogeneous eco texture and there's no micro calcification or microliths within the uh, within the testes however on uh, we can see the surrounding the testes we could find there was an uh, there was a ecogenic and echoic fluid collection suggesting it was of a hydrocele so what we gave uh, so the impression which we gave was on the right side we saw my uh, testes having micro calcification with surrounding extratesticular hematocele or hematoma Whereas on the left side we saw that testis was normal, but we could find extra testicular hydrocele surrounding the left testis. So final diagnosis we gave was right testis microliths and extra hematocele. On the left testis we saw uh, left uh, we saw extra testicular hydrocele. So no, what now I'm going to do is we I'm going to discuss where is scrotal trauma and uh, uh, where is scrotal trauma and the ultrasound feature we see in the various common scrotal injuries. So first we should know that scrotal tra uh, trauma counts for less than 1% of tra all trauma related injuries we see and the investigation of choice for scrotal trauma is a high resolution ultrasound fit Doppler flow evaluation. Uh, it is investigation of choice because first it is non-invasive, second it helps us to quickly evaluate, uh, evaluate various scrotal contents that is the testes, we can see the size of the test, we can see the eco pattern of the test, we can also see the blood flow and vasculatory um, blood flow yeah, vasculatory of the testes. So the scrotal injuries which we are going to uh, divide into two main categories that is the extratestibular uh, scrotal injuries and intertestibular scrotal injuries. In the intertestibular scrotal injury we are going to uh, study is testicular hematoma and rupture whereas in extratestibular scrotal injuries we are going to uh, study are extratestibular hematocele, extratestibular hydrocele or traumatic epidermis. So first we should know how a normal test look, look on the ultrasound. So this is uh, how a normal test should look like. It should have a homogeneous, uh, uh, it should have a uniform homo homogeneous eco texture. And surrounding the testes we can see this white line and this is a tunica albuginia. And, the, uh, and here the probe was kept on the meter raphe and we could see the left and right testes together. And when we put on the color doppler you can see there was a normal and bilateral, bilateral symmetrical color doppler. Uh, um, blood flow in the color Doppler. So coming to the first intertesticular injuries. So uh, we are uh, what we are going to discuss is testicular rupture hematoma. So here we can see this was a normal testis uh, uh, outline of the testis, and here we can see that normal outline of the testis is disrupted, and we can see there is some protrusion here, which suggests of a testicular rupture. And within the rupture, we can see this is a focal uh, and echoic. Uh, hyperechoic fluid collection suggesting it was a testicular hematoma. So on color double you can see uh, there was no vascularity taken by the testicular hematoma also. Uh, so as uh, so coming to the sec uh, second similar case we could see this are testes and in the testes uh, there we could see a testicular hematoma within it and on color double we could see there was no vascular taken within the testicular hematoma. And now coming to the extra testicular injuries, in the first we are going to discuss is a hematocele or extra testicular hematoma. And if it's an acute hematoma, it is usually an echo, uh, an echo hematoma. Whereas if it's subacute or chronic, then it may have a fluid fluid level, low internal low level internal echoes, septa or loculations. So like what we saw in this patient was we saw multiple loculated or septa septas, which suggests it was subacute to chronic hematoma. And obviously, we also saw the microliths 
within the testicles also. Second was hydrocele. Hydrocele is nothing but but a uh, extra testicular fluid relation within the sac, testicular uh, scrotal sac, and it can like seen here, and it can can be congenital or acquired. If it's acquired, it can be due to secondary to trauma, epidermis, or some other pathology. And third is a, a third is a traumatic epidermis, and normally what we see is a small epidermal head on the upper end of testes, but here we can see in the testicular uh, the epidermal head appears enlarged and we can see the eco texture of the epidermal head also appears altered and when we uh, did color doppler we could see there was increased vasculature within the epidermal head and this was suggestive of a traumatic epidermis and so this was what i wanted to discuss about various scrotal injuries and ultrasound finding which we see in each of them and this is the uh, website uh, this is the article which i used uh, as a reference for this video it was published on the american journal of Rheumatology and the name of the article was imaging of traumatic injuries to scrotum and penis from where i discussed the um, uh, ultrasound features of the scrotum scrotal injuries so if you want you can always uh, open this article and read it for yourself also so thank you very much